In tonight's 7 Up Front segment, we're talking with the new Washtenaw County prosecutor who says he's moving the ball forward in the new year. Ellie Sabat has announced two new policies relating to civilian interactions with police officers. Prosecutor Sabat joins me live now to talk more about these new policies. Thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. And let's start with your decision to rescind zero tolerance policies. Give us some examples of what you're talking about here and how will it change policing in the county? Sure. So, you know, I, of course, I don't have jurisdiction over police. All that the prosecutor uh, is charged with doing is making the upstream determination about whether to charge somebody, how to charge somebody, and ultimately to try to work out a, a disposition to the case that makes sure that somebody can get an opportunity of rehabilitation and ultimately keeps our community safe. So rescinding zero tolerance policies simply means that we are treating every case that comes through the criminal justice system with the individualized attention that it deserves. No two cases are exactly alike and we shouldn't have these blanket policies in place that can prevent prosecutors who are closest to the ground from coming up with a solution that can make us safer in the long term. That can include something like, uh, for example, allowing somebody in alter as an alternative to jail and prison to get an opportunity at substance use treatment. If what's driving their uh, way into the criminal justice system is that they're dealing with substance use or a mental health issue. It can also mean that we can give young people a second chance and say, look, if you are able to stay out of the criminal justice system, if you do everything we ask you to do, we will support you not having a criminal record going forward that can stay with you for the rest of your life and that can prevent you from getting jobs, getting housing and getting education. So it's really treating each case that comes through our system with the individualized care that it deserves uh, and I think everybody in the justice system, you know, from from defendants to uh, survivors of crimes to witnesses should want that. No two stories are exactly alike. And we're not treating cases that are fundamentally unalike as though they are similar in Washtenaw County anymore. Is that also uh, involved then the, the prosecutor transparency project, uh, your partnership with ACLU and the University of Michigan Law School? Sure, so that's a separate initiative that we have going on. And what we're trying to do there is look, we know uh, just by setting foot in the courtroom every day or from taking even the most surface level view of the numbers that we have severe racial disparities in our justice system. And so we partnered with the ACLU and world-class researchers at the University of Michigan Law School to really take a deep dive into our files and into our system and to make sure uh, that people are not being treated differently because of their race. Uh, I'm a firm believer that if there are gonna be consequences in the criminal justice system, it should be because of what you did, not because of who you are. So we're partnering with the ACLU and the University of Michigan. They're gonna go through our files. They're gonna identify each and every point in our justice system where you are seeing people being treated differently because of their race when they committed sort of similar acts and then we are going to be transparent about that. We are going to work to eliminate those inequities. And we're not only going to do that, but we're going to identify data and metrics so that the Washtenaw County community can know that justice is being done and that we're not reflecting bias in our legal system. All right. And finally, you've announced that your office will no longer uh, seek uh, cash bails uh, in any case. Why this change? And crime in Washtenaw County certainly is a lot different than Wayne County, which is a much larger county. Would this policy work there as well? I'm sure some would be skeptical. Well, you know, I'm, uh, I, I, let's talk about what cash bail really is. Cash bail is a system in which you are accused of a crime and you may sit in jail uh, for days or weeks or months until and unless you can come up with enough money out of your pocket or out of your bank account to secure your freedom. What that means is that a poorer person, a working class person, could sit in jail for a very long time, even when they don't pose a danger to the community. Uh, whereas a wealthier people person, even somebody who is accused of a very serious crime and does pose a threat, because they have money, they're able to buy their way out. 
Now, when we say we're eliminating cash bail, that does not mean that we're not going to seek to hold people in jail when they pose a danger. It just means that the same standards are going to apply to everybody. If you're a danger, we want you held or we want you released on stringent conditions that are going to ensure public safety. If you don't, you shouldn't be sitting in jail. The size of your bank account shouldn't play a role in that dangerousness determination. So I want to be clear on this. We're not just opening up the jailhouse doors. What we're doing is putting public safety front and center, not somebody's wealth. And that's what no cash bail means. Now, I wouldn't uh, purport to speak for any other jurisdiction or any other prosecutor's office. But, uh, you know, it is my belief that fundamentally wealth should not play a role in your detention. We should be putting public safety in the actual danger that somebody poses front and center. And I am hoping in general that uh, our policies can serve as a model for the rest of the state and indeed the country. It'll be something that we will uh, continue to watch very closely. L.A. Savitt, we thank you uh, so much for joining us tonight here on 7 Up Front. The Washtenaw County Prosecutor, we will speak again, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Glenda?